Beautiful. Billy Bragg from his, uh, essential Billy Bragg compilation. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, Billy Bragg, oh, I can't be bothered, politics, and I have to say, buy this CD, skip past every song that is, for instance, um, <laughs> there is power in a union. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be duped by fascism. Yeah, it's your, uh, it's your, uh, right and duty to vote. Yeah. Right wing, wrong wing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Ignore all that. But just listen, no just listen to the love, love songs. His love songs are beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it, it's fan fantastic. New England, tonight I celebrate my love for you with a pint of beer and a new tattoo. Uh, it's yeah. great. Brilliant. Yeah, look, lose the ones about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Stri striking. Yeah, yeah. exactly, because we know what we think of that. So, um, yeah, I heartily recommend that. Um, and, uh, what- Carl, what? we're on happiness. Carl. Yeah. Oh, I'm Carl, trying to explain Carl's to Carl happiness. that the aim to, you know, it's really to get on a ten. Yeah. Well, I like the fact that he started on a nine. But I love the fact he's happy with four. Yeah. Uh, I love that. No, but what what I mean is, right, I'm not looking for, like, happiness. Right. I'm You're all right- You're looking for happiness? What? <laughs> What's that for? What I mean is, right, I'm happy when I'm not fed up. So what I mean is, I'm happy- Is this the- is this your, in your new book, <laughs> Psychology of the Mind? <laughs> what- what is that? I'm happy when I'm not fed up. <laughs> That's like an eight-year-old trying to explain happiness. Johnny, what is it when I'm happy when I'm not fed up, miss? Well done. Good boy. That's it. You're happy when you're not fed up. Talk like an adult. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying to you, though. I don't- What? I- I'm happy most of the time. It's just that when things niggle me, I find that- m I realise when I'm annoyed more than when I'm happy. But Carl, you, every time we talk to you, you are whinging about something. You've got yeah. something that annoys you. But he's you. one of those people that if he whinges loud enough, he gets away with it. Like he's in here, I think he goes, oh, I'm really busy. I, I come in and he's doing nothing, he's chatting, because mm. he's having big long chats with everyone about how someone's wound him up. Yeah. And they all come in and they go, oh, Carl's fed up. Because he's got this show, you know what I mean? He's wormed his no, way. No, hang on a minute, you on. came in, you came in moaning about the post and that today. Yeah. But everyone's annoyed and frustrated by that. There's small businesses going out I'm of not, business. I'm not, you haven't heard me. No, you're not, because who's right. sending you letters? No one. Mm. You've got no friends. No. You've said that yourself. Yeah. You've openly declared you don't want friends. They're That's too much right. hassle. Yeah. 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 For, uh, that, um, yeah. That is- that is my jo- friends is the- it, that is the point of life to me. It's- I can't wait to see them. I squeeze their head, I welcome them in. Oh, they annoy me. <laughs> they <laughs> annoy me. Annoying me. I love it. Friends are annoying. He's even scared of like, uh, doing some uh, with a friend or, you uh, know, uh, getting a gift because he goes after buying one back now. Yeah. It's sort of like life's a bit of a chore for Carl, isn't it? Well anyway, alright, let's leave that aside. Obviously you're never gonna be entirely happy, although apparently you are already- on the brink of happiness. All you no, have to I say is your right. hair look nice. That's all you have to say. Yeah, it looks good, yeah. And that's it, end of story. What's the point in that? What is the point in she that? Because she doesn't re- she doesn't really care what you think, but she doesn't want to hear that she looks like Dave Hill from Slade. She's not having her hair cut just to please you, Carl. Despite what you might think. <laughs> yeah. He's taken aback by that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, happiness then, yeah. All right, so, listen, so I, I was happy the other week, right, when I was going up to Manchester on the train, mm. nice quiet carriage, I'm sat there reading about sharks and that, right? <laughs> nice, yeah. nice and quiet. And I got annoyed, I texted you, didn't I? Yeah. When, uh, two fellas got on. Um, can we talk about it? Well, yeah, you, you I mean, you've, you've started it. Two gay men got on, go on. Two gay fellas got on. Yeah. And it wasn't the fact they were gay that bothered me. It no. was like, you know, each to their own. Let sure. them get, you know what I mean? Let yeah. them do what they do. Yeah. And, um, Behind closed doors. But they started talking really loud. Huh? Right? And they were going on about, uh. Well, that's annoying them. anyway. That's annoying whether you're straight or gay. Yeah, yeah. Mate, yeah, 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 yeah. Talking too loud. But do you know that theory I have about <laughs> they go out late? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gay people always go out late. Yeah. Yeah. Right. When we're- yeah, I mean, what- what- what time do you go out in the evening? Uh, 7.30. If you go out about 7.30, yeah. if you- yeah. you know, if I'm out of work, I might- I might go out about 8 o'clock or something. Yeah. Mm. Guarantee I'll sort of be in bed by about half 12. Sure. At that time, they're still sort of ironing the jeans. <laughs> right? And- and the funny thing was- <laughs> I- I've al in their jeans! I've always said this, right? <laughs> Dalton and, and long you to Abba. So you sort of said that's rubbish. I'm sat on the train reading about sharks, these two are talking, and they're going, oh, we can't wait to get there, and his phone goes, and he goes, uh, hello? And, uh, on the end he goes, anyway, I'll, I'll see you at one then. Right? Right. So I thought, well, maybe that's tomorrow. Yeah. Could be one in the afternoon, that's when most people would meet. Yeah. And then he carried that's on when talking. most people would meet! Carried on talking, and he goes, yeah, so anyway, like I say, see you tonight. One o'clock is meeting someone. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't, I don't know you why you're out that late. Do you remember when his favourite record of all time is The Killing of Georgie? Sure. He said, would he have been killed if he'd have been <laughs> back at a decent time? <laughs> yes. 
Uh, there's no mention point. of the time sure. in this song. And then the funny, the funny bit was actually that did make me laugh. Right, uh, when he'd finished talking on the phone, he said to his partner, "Right, uh, oh, there you go, let's have a little chat." And the fella said, "Who was that?" And he said, "Oh, it's it's Dave." He said, "Which one's Dave?" He said, "You know, the one with the shaved head." I thought, in the gay community, yeah, that isn't a good description. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. So I've, got, well, I've got little shaved heads. Before we move on, was the Sharks article interesting? Did you learn anything? It was pretty good. Was it? Go yeah, on, I'll teach it? you something about that later. Oh, okay. Uh, is, this, is, is this educating Ricky? Uh, it wasn't, but I can I can te teach you a bit. Yeah? Alright. That's good. Play some ads on that. And Play some ads on a tune, and then have we got maybe a competition? Yeah. All what right. have we got? We're all looking forward to that. Right. Fortune faded. Red hot chilli peppers and XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Back for two hours a day, then a Monday off. Carning the management, baby, and sending this station spiralling down <laughs> into the depths for his greed <laughs> and selfishness. Yes. Okay. Uh, we were talking earlier about things that have happened when we were away. Um, quite a lot. Quite a lot, but there's one thing I heard. It might be a rumour. I hope it's a rumour. I kept it from you, Steve, because I, I didn't- I want you to sort of have spirits out because we've been at it in the office and we've got to be- Okay. Um, okay, I'm just gonna say it. Um, I think Shed Seven have split up. Sorry, I didn't- Shed Seven have split up. Uh, <clears throat> I, sorry, I think I got something in my <laughs> arm. <laughs> uh, it's just a bit dusty now, I think. So, okay, if it's true, it's true, if not, we've got their- at least we've got their music. Their music- <laughs> the music- the music lives on. So we're gonna dedicate this show to Shed Seven and all the bands they- Influence. Influence. So we're just gonna play. Just every 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 artist that that formed a band after they'd heard Shed Seven. Just play them from now on and obviously the hits, all the hits. Oh, the I, Shed Seven hits. When I saw this, I saw it on a website. It said about Is it true Shed Seven has split up? And the next you know, one of those dorky message boards, someone came out and said, You are joking. <laughs> 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 oh. oh dear, what else is happening? I just anyway? pray that uh, uh, it is just a rumour. It is just a rumour, yeah. Then oh, get in touch. Just, just to call in if it's true. Um, well, no, call in, call in yourself. It, it, well, Shed, if Shed's listening, yeah. and he's, he's not busy, he's got Mondays off now. Yeah. Uh, call in and say, what, what was the split all about? <laughs> Tell you what I uh, read about. Sharks, away. monkeys, or jellyfish? Uh, it's, it's ten past, isn't it? We haven't, uh, we haven't done a, a little bit of knob news. <laughs> no, <laughs> right. we haven't done knob news, no. But, um, it's been three months. It's been, it's been three months coming. There's this, there's this thing, uh, I don't know the full story, I don't know how it happened, right? But little, little Russian, uh, little Russian fella. Yeah. Uh, he was, uh, sort of having, uh, sort of emptying his bladder, right? And yeah. And somehow electrocuted himself. Right. right. And, uh, sort of did a bit of damage. How was he, what, is he I, I don't know, I don't live know. Wires or something. something like that. So did anyway. Did damage to himself or to an electric fire or something? No, to himself. To himself. Yeah. And, um, so the doctor- Didn't, didn't slip and t t curling tongs went up his ass when he was pissed because <laughs> that's- that's happened a lot in yeah, we've hospitals. All been there. We've all- we've all- we've all- we've all- we've all- the old curling tongs up the arse <laughs> when having a piss. Right. So, um, I can't even be bothered. <laughs> no, come on, no, we're interested, we're interested! Why, well, come on, we're interested, don't you? You can't be bothered, you get Mondays off, do some work. Right, so anyway, so the doctor says, oh, it's not looking good, we'll have to take that off. Mm. What? He's like, the, oh. A- a- novectomy? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> But the funny thing is, right? Nothing funny about that. They've done, uh You're doing me heading. You're doing <laughs> Just me tell the today. story! Just doing me heading. Oh, you can chill out I've on Monday. Got, I've only got 15 minutes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you every Saturday, I'm gonna get the money's worth out of this, cos you get Mondays off, and I can't- uh, I can't bear the fact that someone's getting away with something like that, cos it's terrible. So you're gonna stick this out, or you're gonna have to work Mondays. So take it on the chin, mm. right, okay? Just finish the story, yes. I command you. Just do it. Anyway, so they've- they said- he said, you know, you, will you be able to sort me a uh, little knob out? A prosthetic right? knob, yeah. Yeah. But, they put him out yep. for the operation. Yeah. He woke up. Yeah. Right, and he's thinking, oh, thank God that's over and done with. Yeah. <laughs> They've only grown it on his arm. What are you talking about? <laughs> You twat. Shut the f- d d d d you're an idiot. What do you mean they've grown it on his arm? Apparently, like, that's- that's- the way they do it. Oh, then, yeah, but to, to then put it on, that, that that wasn't a mistake. It wasn't Dr. Gohan, does it go there? <laughs> Some bloke didn't, I didn't do a degree. Are you a real doctor? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but why, why put it there? Because it's got a graph, because it's got a grow, it's got a graph there, it's where they can control it. To skin, the, to skin tissue. 
But on your arm. Well, but they're gonna remove it or... from the arm itself. What do you mean on the back? On your back? Somewhere, well, we can't wear a t-shirt. Yeah, but you could, you could have a quick... He's in hospital! He, he, but th this way he can still have a little tug, no, can't no, he? But they'll leave it there for quite a bit. It's not... Do you know what I mean? It's not gonna be like, oh, it's just there for a few days. Yeah. It's there for a bit. That's not good, is it? So he's got a cock on his arm? Yeah, what's up with that? What do you mean, what's up with that? Well, I mean, it, it's, you could say it's a, it's, a, it's a thumb or something, couldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they, they remove be, it. Be good for hitching. It down it, below if, if, you had, if you had a knob instead of a thumb and you went hitchhiking, just tickle it. And they can see it like a mile down the road, couldn't they? <laughs> Posting. <laughs>